Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Here I will present about L2C and Leibniz Their contribution to differential calculus Now, if you see here, this is Mr. L2C And beside him here is Mr. Leibniz And I myself am Amir Ridwan I'm, I'm from International Islam University, Malaysia Now, if you see this book uh, if you're Malaysian, I'm sure you know this book. This is Edmax Form 4. And in this book, I'm sure you've learned about differentiation. Now, differentiation is very much related to differential calculus. And this is uh, models that you learned. Now, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, it is a branch of mathematical analysis which is concerned with finding the rate of change of function with respect to a variable which it depends upon. Now, these are the important concepts which we have learned there and these are the concepts which are very much important in differential calculus now if you see in the definition before you will see Mr. Isaac Newton here now Mr. Isaac Newton is there because the western scholars has contention over whether he or Leibniz actually laid the foundation of modern differential calculus but actually many other scholars have actually developed from time before including the Greeks this Chinese and also the Muslims. Now, today we will look into one of the Muslim scholars who actually developed differential calculus, which is Sharafuddin Atusi. He was born in the 12th century, and it was said that he actually uh, used the uh, the method of finding the maxima and minima, and whereby the scholars today agree that this implies that actually Sharafuddin Atusi actually has known the use of derivative ever since before. Now, <coughs> this is Sharafuddin Atusi here. This is Mr. Leibniz. This is the one who was said to have actually laid the foundation of differential calculus. Actually, he was the one responsible for uh, giving many of the notions that we use today, such as dy dx, and even in the textbook of the Westerns, they actually uh, recognize that actually he pulled upon the knowledge which has been developed by the scholars before. Now, there are many different applications of differential calculus, such as this. We know from this function, we can actually know the maximum and minimum profit that we can get from the functions. And also, we can get the rate of change, such as here, we can know when the price of eggs are rising and falling. So now, guys, this is a very brief introduction to differential, uh, differential calculus. So let us together learn mathematical